Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and doggone it, it's time to get vlogged. Let's do it. Vlog on, people, vlog. Ah yes, it is Saturday, and Saturday is vlog day. Mm -hmm. And today is no different from a regular vloggy Saturday. It's been very vloggy outside and soggy as well. <laughs> very soggy. As a matter of fact, it's been so mucky that um, I was doing this repair on our hay thingy. Well, I'll show you what's going on. But bottom line is I kept getting stuck to where I couldn't actually even move out of the, the mud. And m m most of it was probably not actually mud. Oh, well, now you know how Claire and I feel when we go milk Harriet. Well, you know, I mean, yeah. And so we're so excited. You're so excited. We are so excited. The chickens that we bought back in September as little chicks are now starting to lay eggs. They're giving. So They're giving back. We got a surprise. What's your surprise? Their first egg. The first Yay! egg. Yay! So excited. The chickens are finally laying. Yay! Let's take a look at that little guy. He's just a little little fellow. A little one. A little fellow, mummy. Aww. Enjoy your egg. It's so cute. Can I share it? <laughs> finally, after months and months and that that is such a frustrating thing being a homestead family and you lay out all this you know it's an investment you're you're, you're right. paying for the chickens and you're paying for the feed and you're getting nothing back those birds they better start popping those eggs out or else they're gonna be not too long from the pot that's right but i think it's finally started we got what two there's two yes there two. are we have gotten two little itty bitty ones they're so cute so I can't wait until we'll eat we can them. have fresh <laughs> eggs. Yeah. And let me tell you people, you guys know because we've been sharing with you, but our issue with car stuff has gotten out of control. Yeah, a little bit. Well, yeah, well, first of all, we've have we have this Ford Escape that uh, actually Danny B, Brian B, uh, Tim Beverly, and a mystery helper outer person, and thank you, mystery helper outer person, have um, <laughs> have been helping us get to the bottom of this. They've been, you know, they're they're mechanically minded. They've been helping out with the parts, and uh, we are so blessed that we think Monday is going to be the day, and it's going to be back on the road. Woot, woot, woot. Right. Well, and then there was David's car. Which yeah. He's letting us use because of our escape is broken. It, it might have been. Well, why don't. Do tell, Mama. Okay, so the <laughs> other day, this was Thursday, actually. Still wet. I was. Um, very, it was still very wet after days and days of rain. So I had to take Grace to therapy, and I had to hurry up because I was already running late. So the Honda was behind the big van and I had to hurry because Brad was going to take the Honda and so I ran in and parked it in the grass. Yeah. She leaves. Yeah, I left. She leaves in the van and I'm like, oh, I'll take the, the thing to go get Jonathan because we, we've still got to figure out what to do with David's car. He's in the military now Yeah. and it's got to go away. Right. But right now it's a yard ornament. Um, well, we we are using it because the the escape is broken down. But. Yeah. Anyway, so I come out and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And it's like, it was I, I was like, when I I'll just I'll just I'll just barely tap on it and see if it'll just move just a little bit. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. But we got it out okay. Jonathan and I, we used the truck, pulled it right out, and it was really not as big of a, a deal as I thought it was gonna be. It was just minor inconvenience, you know, yeah. stuff, stuff, blah. So some of you may know that we are starting our seed swap for 2017, and we got our first seed swap package. Show them, show them, show them. And the first one in was from, fun, from Amanda at the Fundamental Home. So and, well, yeah, no, no, we're good. <laughs> And for those of you who don't know what the seed swap is, there's going to be a video link down below. But basically, it's kind of like Secret Santa with seeds. Yeah. You send seeds in, you get seeds back from people you don't even know, and it's a whole lot of fun. It's really cool. And so if you're into gardening or think you want to get into gardening or you just want to even help out, get into the seed swap. Last year, it was crazy. Yeah, it really was insane. We had about 180 participants. Oh my gosh. Our table was full twice. I mean, it was... Every package was laid out and we're swapping and it was 
insane. Yeah, yeah, we've got a better system, I think, this time, because there were a few people, and I feel really bad about it, but we actually mailed them some of their own seeds back. <laughs> Oops. We fixed it. We tried so hard not to do that, but with that many seed swap packages, it was really difficult not to. But I think I've got a, a plan up here in my in my noggin. I hope so. That's gonna make for the yada yada and the yippy skippy much easier, much easier. Also, we finally got our ducks in a row and we started making our goat's milk soap and we're going to be selling it, but not just yet. Right. Uh, go ahead. It will be ready soon. It's still curing. It is still curing, but this is kind of cool. We were encouraged by the folks over at Living on a Dime channel, and they said, why don't you do it live? Why don't you make some soap live, like stream it? Mm -hmm. And so within the next couple days, we're gonna do that. We went to the store and got the ingredients. And uh, so for those of you who might be interested in taking that jump and learning how to do soap, this is a very, very easy process. It really, really is. You just have to take a few precautions. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you gotta be careful, mm -hmm. but this way I can maybe be on the computer where mama's kind of doing most of the soap. I'm like the sous chef anyway. Yeah, you just hand me stuff. So. I measure it out and go, here, here. Right. And she goes, hmm, here, hmm. Just like that? <laughs> and that noise, she goes, hmm. Just, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. So yeah, we got this Jerusalem artichokes and the turmeric and I want to get them in the dirt. We got that from the carousel package. Yes. And um, they, they got some mist in there. Yeah. I, I think they're alive. They're alive. So we're gonna get them in the soil? Yeah. Yeehaw. Yeah. Oh, oh, and for any of you who have kids, good Lord, cups everywhere. Why can't they just take one cup well, they per do. day? They do take one cup and this is where they set and it. And they deposit then, it there. They leave it there. And then they find it over there. That's your cup. The, not, I've, I have one cup. And if you're wondering, yes, this is what a homestead house looks like. You've got planters mixed in with your Christmas decorations. Oh, and the stove's right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and all the billions of cups too. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's pretty much normal. Yeah. Christmas stuff goes put gets put away tomorrow. And Mondays we have a really fun thing that we've been doing. It's called Prepper Monday. <laughs> we need we need explosions. Okay. <laughs> So we have a few items that we will kind of go over and review, test and review and talk about. And it might have been a, a, a smidge uncomfortable for me last time, just a smidge. Well, well, and it's more of a smidge uncomfortable for me. So Prepper Mondays, lots of fun stuff. Yeah. We review some things, test them out, and we give you our 411, and we expect you to give your 411 back in comments. Yep. And the yada yada and the yippy skippy. Yes. And really, I think that's just about it for this vlog aciousness. <laughs> so, we vlog so you don't have to. Yeah. I actually have no idea what that means at all. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. No. Okay, so I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.